jing, ginseng update. Uh, what I thought was ginseng is actually artichokes. Uh, when I was planting the ginseng in the trays, uh, the last tray I planted, which is this one right here, uh, has actually ran out of seed. So the only other seed I had with me was, was artichoke seed. So, you know, I put those in and, and went about my merry way. And, you know, as I was waiting for the, the ginseng to come up, you know, it, it kind of slipped my mind that I'd even put the artichokes in. And at first when the artichokes came up, I thought, well, geez, maybe it's because of the propane heater and where they were sitting. Uh, so I rotated the flats around so, you know, other flats would get propane, the heat from the propane, and, and there still wasn't anything for germination. And after moving those trays around, it kind of struck me, oh, geez, you know, I planted artichokes in there, too. So, uh, definitely no germination for the ginseng uh, I was gonna do an update video yesterday and then today I did find uh, this uh, so it could possibly be one but uh, out of all these cells uh, just one uh, really isn't that great for germination especially since a lot of the seed was sprouted uh, when I when I planted it and I think some of it was too far along and, and maybe even by being handled by me uh, might have hurt the seed that was germinated and, and might have just killed it. I've dug into uh, these cells and looked for the seed. Um, the ones that were sprouted, a lot of them were actually um, had withered and died. And some, some of the seed looked like it was about to sprout. Uh, so I, I actually took some of that home and put it into plastic bags and wet paper towels into the refrigerator to see what can happen there but it does look like uh, possibly one has germinated so I'm not going to dig into any more of the trays uh, we will see what happens would not be a really high successful germination rate a uh, really tricky really tricky plant to to grow uh, you know that's one more than we had last year because we didn't have any last year so I guess that's the way we got to look at it uh, channel I like to watch, Sapper Gardner, uh, Rob at Sapper Gardner, um, is trying ginseng as well. He's trying it from cuttings, uh, so he had access to a root, so maybe maybe he'll have better luck. Check out Rob at Sapper Gardner. Uh, great guy, great channel. He is the raised bed master. Uh, really, uh, any kind of raised bed that you've seen or can think of, uh, chances are he's probably tried. Uh, he's got a great video on raised beds and uh, just a wealth of knowledge there uh, and just seems like a really great guy so check out that channel uh, sapper gardener i'll put a link in the description and uh hopefully next time i do another ginseng update there's you know a little more uh more to report uh so ginseng artichokes all right well that's that's why we we're supposed to mark our trays right I do that for the cherry tomatoes, so I know the difference when I plant them, but I totally forgot about the artichokes. Uh, sorry about that, but these things happen. But possibly one. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully it's not an only child. Well, happy Friday, and, and uh, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.